ball. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my! Perfect timing, and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive, base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied. From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the New York Mets. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Jacob deGrom starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's got an ERA under four. Now, that's not great, and it's not bad either. He's consistent, and he's a very reliable pitcher. So the thing you like about him, give me the ball, I'm going to go get him, and then you get what you get. Here's Charlie Blackman now, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he is going to reach to start the ball game. Didn't hit it far, but it's an infield single. Left fielder, David Dahl. So stepping in, David Dahl. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. Blackman rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Wow, we're only two batters in, and they're already on the board. Leadoff man has a solid at bat, roping a single. No then the man in the two hole delivers an RBI that gets a run across. Always nice to get a lead this early. Here's Nolan Arenado. 22 home runs on the ledger for him so far this year. No one out with a runner at second. Squared that one up just a little late. To two, two balls and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Again he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this isn't a club with a high on-base percentage. They're near the bottom in on-base percentage. So this is a club that sits there, and they have to hit home runs they want to win. They're going to have to drive balls in the gap because they don't have a lot of traffic on the bases. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. He's got it and there are two down now. Having that. 
Here's Cargo Carlos Gonzalez. In previous duels with DeGrom, a three for seven line. He also has one home run. And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to two and one now. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be Great. tough. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Rockies do get a run in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up, and the Rockies have the early 1 0 advantage. Jeff Hoffman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on MH? Matt, the last three games been a bit of a struggle, and you wonder why? Well, you look at the base runners. He's allowing a lot of traffic on the bases. And so for that, I look at one number, his whip. It's over 1-5. He's got to get that down if he wants a chance to win games. Here's Juan Ligares. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. As dribble, Cabrera. Now to the plate as dribble Cabrera. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now. One ball, two strikes to count. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early and don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. These Rockies, Harold, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, man. I mean, this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in a series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to... A swing and a shot hit down the corner. It's into the second deck, but foul. Just couldn't keep that ball fair. Well, that was an impressive swing. A fastball is able to hit a foul ball home run with it, but it got out in front of it a little bit too much. Timing just a tad off. On, He's set. Here's the 2-2. In the dirt here. Runner at first here, one man out. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. It remains one nothing.
Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMayhew. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. So striding forward now, Ian Desmond. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. One out, nobody on. Fouled back. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Dustin Garneau. And here now is Dustin Garneau. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. And the pitch on two and one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now the pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the that first out. Time now for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Rockies. And I'm looking down at second base at DJ LeMayhew. Talk about overlook. Now this guy's won gold gloves and people don't even know about it. He's got tremendous range, great hands, makes all the plays. Here's Lucas Duda now. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Yeah. Takes a good curveball at the knees. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that? The one and two pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting seventh, third baseman. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major league hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds a two and two. A runner on first with two away. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. Hard hit ball to second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mets strand one. They still trail one nothing.
Striding in, Jeff Hoffman, 9 1 and 2 due up. Here it comes on one and one. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one away in the inning now, and before we get too much further, let's take a look at where the Mets find themselves in the race for the National League East. Digging in for his second at bat, Charlie Blackman. Bases are empty, one man out. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Dahl. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 1 2. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Colorado, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Stepping in, Jacob DeGrom, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's three and one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that can't find the zone either. It's ball four, and on just five pitches, he's walked the pitcher leading off the inning. Mm. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Digging in to try it again. Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Stepping in now. As Drubal Cabrera, but this is hauled in by the second baseman, and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The left fielder number 52. Here's Juana Cespedes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Next one's going to the a changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Well, I thought with two outs right there in that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. But I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3-1. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. So striding in, Jay Bruce, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pickoff move to second.
change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Two men are on with two men out. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Ready for another chance. Nolan Arenado comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Ready on 1 and 2. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Cabrera there for this one at short. Reined in. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Good oh, pitch right there to run the two seamer Touch in on his hands and Ruffer. bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as the result. One run, two hits. No errors in the ball game for the Rockies thus far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it. Two gone. The right fielder number five. Carlos Here's Cargo, Gonzalez. Carlos Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to 1 and 2 now. The difference maker in this outing than others is the two seamer. He's doing whatever he wants to do with that ball. It's moving all over the place. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. 1, 2, 3, go the Rockies. They lead it 1 to nothing. So striding in, Neil Walker, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One, one. Tough slider down low for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Hey, that's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Once again, a 3 2. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Duda. Striding in once again, Lucas Duda. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Drilled to the right side. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Mets. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. David. In now, David Wright. And they won't tempt it here with Wright as that pitch misses for ball four. Hey, three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3 and 0, though. You have to earn that spot. Hey. 
That one's in there, three and one. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. The three one pitch. And that misses ball four. A run will come in to score. And this inning is a perfect example of how quickly fortunes can change in this game. He was cruising along, hardly any trouble at all. Now he walks in a run and is still in the middle of a bases loaded mess. He's got some work to do to limit the damage. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Look, 2-0 and oh to the pitcher in this situation with the bases loaded. You have to challenge him. Make him swing the bat. And the pitch on 2-1. and one. Now the suicide squeeze, but it's popped up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. And he'll be doubled off at third. So disaster strikes there, and there are two gone. Here's Juan Lagares. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And there's ball two now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Spinning a throw back to second. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. Set and the two and one pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Blackman. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. All tied at one and one. Now at the plate, DJ LeMayhew comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle taken by Walker. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and this is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the fifth. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Standing in now Dustin Garno. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. On its way is pitch number 75. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Number 52. Here's you on a cesspit. for one for him here in this one. Two and one now to Cespedes. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. 
Well, that base hit right there gives now him a nine-game hitting streak. Right Chris Russon is going to take over three. here in inning number five, so it'll be a Colorado. bullpen game from number here on 52. out. Chris Russon. Jay Bruce will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Into the box, Neil Walker. As he hits one on a line to left field. Dahl is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets leave one. We played five full, tied at one aside. Gerardo Parra will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number eight, Gerardo Parra. Hit hard down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Two strikes back foot slider. That's a classic pitch. Nice job of laying off of that. A fastball down near the shoe tops. David Dahl waits on deck. Hit down the line at first. Power. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Hey, he's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. In now, David Dahl. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Your attention, please. Now so a call the to the Rocky. bullpen now as right hander Chad Qualls Chad is set to take Qualls. over on the mound. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lucas Duda in his career against this pitcher. One for three. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A sinker over the outside corner for strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hits this one hard the other way. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, they put the shift on him, overloading the right side, but they pitch him away. And he shoots the ball that way and picks up the base hit to left field. I don't know why guys don't do that more often. Stepping in now, David Wright. And he puts it on the ground to second. There's one. On to first, and they get them both. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up.
Into the box, Travis Darno. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. Walls is ready, 2-2 two, two on its way. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low, it's ball three. And that misses ball four, and now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're now hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready once again, Jacob DeGrom comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. Throw in time and the side is retired. Met strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting Not anything batting. close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer it that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Into the box now, Carlos Gonzalez. Cespedes is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. Ready for another shot now. DJ LeMayhew. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And that's in there. Base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Digging in to try it again. Ian Desmond, two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Boy, the Rockies have been looking for that big hit all game long. They haven't been able to come through so far, but now would be the time to come through. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Riding in once again, Juan Ligares. His career numbers against this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Now the pitch. Hard sinker misses two and two.
Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. LeMahieu will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Number 13. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Ready on one and two. Hit in the air to right field. On the move is Gonzalez. He's got it, and there are two down now. The left fielder number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. A hit in two tries so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. Bases are empty here with two men out. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains tied one to one. Addison Reed been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the Number eight. 43, Addison Reed. Jordan Patterson, Patterson Colorado, is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top Jordan of the eight. Patterson. And here's a ball hit in the air. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Not Two bad. very well pitched well, games thus far. Chad there you see it. Wall. Each team with a one and a whole lot of zeros. One one our score at this point in the ball game. Things have been tight throughout. You're Steven Cardugo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 65. Steven Cardugo. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. How about him? The center fielder. Digging in Charlie once again, Blackman. Charlie Blackman. He went down on strikes last time up. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. He absolutely smoked that ball right there. The infielder was ducking to get out of the way of it. Left fielder, David Dahl. In now, David Dahl. Lined to the right side. Bruce is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Rocky Strand one, still tied one apiece. Your Jake McGee is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in Colorado. the bottom half of the Number eighth. Number 51, Jake McGee. Tony Walters to is into the ball game here as now he takes catching. over behind the plate. Number 14, Tony Walters. Here's Jay Bruce now. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Crowd gets up for the three-two. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball.
pitch on the way. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Neil Walker. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Standing in now, Lucas Duda. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. McGee comes set. 2-2 two -two pitch on its way. Swung out and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Line toward right center. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not care. Oh, if he hit the ball five. hard, I guess that's his philosophy. Hey, hey. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Into the box now, David Wright. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. <laughs> 2 1, here it is. Swing and a little blooper to center. Blackman over to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. Score remains deadlocked in one. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Now batting. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He was fortunate he just fouled it off. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Carlos Gonzalez. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two out, nobody on. Liner towards second. Oh, no, he can't hold on to it. Man, was he flying down the line right there. Now, I know there's two outs, and he's not quitting. Go Maybe this is a rally nine. starter with the two-out infield single. D.J. LeMayhew. Ready for another chance? D.J. LeMayhew. There are two gone, and the possible go-ahead run at first. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with a hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine, all tied at one and one. Jason Mott enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Couple of walks for him thus far.
and he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. He's set, and the two one pitch. Just a bit low, ball three. Three and one, here it is. Nine toward the alley in left center. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth inning comes up with a big leadoff hit. Man, that is beautiful. Sets the inning up nice. Maybe we'll see a walk off here, Matt. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 30, Michael Conforto. Now time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. A little bit outside. Two and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Now the two one. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's not in time. So Reyes has himself a stolen base. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one. But that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there Matt. Hey if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today. We need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across. Here's the 2 2 pitch. This is skied into short left center. Dahl comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Center fielder number 12, Juan Lagares. Here's Juan Lagares. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he's back in standing. Now the one and two pick. This is sky down toward right. Gonzalez on the run. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And they will not get him at third. He's in there with two away as the winning run. Number 13, Asdrubal. Into the box, Asdrubal Cabrera. He's got a chance to win it here, but with a couple of bases open, they might think about working around him. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. Yeah. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three and the potential winning run laid waste. The inning is over. So they can't get that winning run home, and that means free baseball here this afternoon. Tenth inning coming up, all tied at one and one. Right, Jose Reyes play. will stay in the ball now game as he'll likely do the catching Number from seven. here out. Jerry Familia takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Jerry Familia. So striding in, Ian Desmond, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Rene Rivera is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. Number 44, Rene Rivera. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. 
And a slider on the inside for strike one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. That'll bring up Tony Walters. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Down low, two balls and a strike. The pitch. Strike, two called, and it's even a two. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Bruce has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. The pitcher number two. Mark Reynolds please. will get the call pitcher here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Mark. Number 12, Mark Reynolds. And he looks at one in there, one and two. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Score remains tied one to one. Carlos Estevez comes on to start the home the 10th, and he's just hoping Number to get 54. this one into the 11th inning. Digging in, Ioannis Cespedes. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Here's the 2-1. Now a hard liner toward short, but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. The right fielder number 19. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. Hey. A hat trick Ooh. already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone. And that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you could have. In now, Neil Walker. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Still tied one apiece. Digging in and looking for more, Charlie Blackman. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. 0-2, oh here it comes. Foul back. Here's another 0-2. Oh right side. And that is through into right field for a single. So that puts the Rockies' leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning. Another hit right there. Man, he is having a big series right here on the road. He's having some kind of impact on this series, the way he's collecting base hits. Into the box, David Dahl. Tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it to the dirt and turn one over for you. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The batter, number 20. Ready for another shot now. Nolan Arenado. Lifetime against Familia. Over five. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Now the three and two pitch. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. 
And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. Not too often Jerry's Familia finds himself in a tough spot like this. But I wouldn't bet against him. He has the kind of stuff that he can get out of this mess. Ready with another two strike offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Two men are on with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to short. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. Two left for Colorado. Score remains deadlocked at one. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Here's the one and two. Fly ball out to right field. On the move is Gonzalez. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks in this one. One out, nobody on. in there one and two now ready on one and two and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two And Wright gets into one here as he lifts this ball high and deep to left field. Oh, and that nearly sent us home and sent this crowd into hysterics, but it'll wind up a foul ball. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Now this is what baseball's about. A pitcher and hitter going back and forth. Foul ball, strike, foul ball. I can't wait to see how this ends. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Well, there's a one-out infield single. And you know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, God, that was so unlucky. Now batting, Rene Rivera. Now the 2 1. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Possible winning run on first, one man away. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Now batting. Catcher. Shea Reese. Familia. Chris Granderson will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Ernest Granderson. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. And this is a case of a pitcher letting his frustrations get the best of him. He feels like he gets robbed on the previous pitch. And he just rears back and really let it go on the next pitch. But it got away from him in a big way. Stepping in now. Juan Ligares. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. 
Wow, talk about a frustrating. Drop, Not 15. what you want to do with the bases loaded, a simple pop-up, and nothing productive comes out of that. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. The big curveball just misses, apparently. Ball two. Oh, that was a pitch he wanted right there. That, that's a situation you can't go to two balls. Because if you go to three, you know you're going to throw him the ball right down the middle. This pitch right here, it, everything hinges on this pitch. And this is down. And he's got it. And the Mets are going to walk home a winner. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion. And that's exactly what happened. A walk off for the win. Wow. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Hey, when you go out there and punch out 11 hitters and you put your team in a great position to win a ball game, you deserve all of the recognition that comes your way. Pitching and defense game, two to one, the final score this afternoon. Jerry Spamilia gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Fleezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs. Seven hits, no errors. They left. Here's the 0 2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run. And the Yankees have an 8-4 lead.